In this video I'm going to show you how to draw a tripeptide at pH 7. In this case I'm doing valine, phenylalanine, aspartic acid. Okay, we're always going to start with the N terminus on the left. So the N terminus is going to be valine and the C terminus is going to be aspartic acid. So, you should draw the backbone first. NCC, this is going to be our first amino acid, followed by NCC for our second amino acid. Let me see if I can get this in focus. That's better. And then NCC for our third amino acid. And then we want to come in and fill in our parts. So since it's at pH 7, I know that my N terminus, which is a primary amine, is going to be protonated, meaning it's going to have three hydrogens attached to it and it's going to be positively charged. So I'll put three hydrogens on that. The next C is going to be my alpha carbon, which is where my R group is attached. So there's going to be an H on that C. And then that's where the R group is. For valine, it's CH CH3 and CH3, kind of like a V. And then this carbon is, is where the carboxylic acid was before it was attached to another amino acid. So this is where the peptide bond starts. C double bond O. And then now we've crossed over into the next amino acid. And on the next amino acid, when there's a peptide bond, there's always a C double bond O and an NH. So this would be the peptide bond here. Or one of the peptide bonds. <coughs> and then the next carbon is the alpha carbon of the second amino acid phenylalanine. So it's got a hydrogen and then phenylalanine looks like this. And then the next um, carbon has the carbonyl. So you can see the pattern here. NCC, the middle C is always the alpha carbon, the next C over is, is the carboxylic acid or where it was, and then followed by the next amino acid and a second peptide bond. And finally the last amino acid the alpha carbon being the middle carbon here, and then aspartic acid. The R group is CH2COO minus. It's COO minus because it's at pH 7. The only time this COO or any COO in a protein is going to be protonated, meaning it's COOH, is at pH 1. We're not at pH 1, we're at pH 7, so both of these are negatively charged. Okay. One of the biggest mistakes people make is putting an extra oxygen in here. Don't make that mistake. Okay, There's only one oxygen up here, and then it goes right to that nitrogen. So there's no oxygen between this carbon and the nitrogen. Okay, Because remember, whenever two amino acids come together, water is released. And the OH from that water comes from the carboxylic acid um, that was there. So for example, if I was to add another amino acid here, this O would go away and become water. Okay, so it's that simple. I need to put a positive charge over here on the amine side. So the, the net charge of this whole molecule is you would count up each of the individual charges and add them together. We have negative one, negative one, and positive one. So the net charge is negative one. Okay. Hope that helps uh, with some of the confusion on drawing these peptides out. Remember, you will have all of the amino acids, so you don't have to memorize any of the side chains. You just have to know how to put them together and how to put them together at a certain pH. Okay.